Hello everyone from NS3EDU. So today we are going to learn how to set up Palo Alto Firewall so that we can access the internet. So this is our LAN and this is our WAN subnet and this is our management IP. With the help of this management IP we are going to access the GUI of this Palo Alto Firewall. Okay, so let us open this PC. Okay, so this is the dashboard of our GUI of Palo Alto. Okay, so this is the management IP that we are using and this is the subnet mask. Okay, so what we are going to do, we are going to create two zones. Okay, for that we will go into the network. Okay, and here we are going to select zones. And in this zone, we are going to click on the add. And here we are going to write LAN. And in the type, we are going to select layer 3. And after that, we are going to click OK. And same thing, we are going to add in the name section, we are going to write WAN. And the type, we are going to select layer 3 as we have already selected. And after that, we will go into the interface management and here click on the add and write down here ping response pages. And we are going to permit some services like ping, telnet, SSH, HTTPS, response page, and user ID. Then click on the OK. After that, what we are going to do, we will go into the interface and we will see in our topology that we are going to select Ethernet 1 slash 1. Here, we are going to, in the interface type, we are going to select layer 3 and in the security zone, we are going to select WAN. After that, click OK and we have to uh, put the IP address also. Go to the IP version 4 here and click on Add and here write down the IP 192.168.80.50 slash 24 then click OK after that we will go into the Ethernet 1 slash 2 and here in the interface type we are going to add layer 3 and in the security zone we are going to add LAN and in the IP version 4 I'm going to write the IP 192.168.0.1 slash 24 then click on OK after writing down the IP and there is one more thing that we have to add on the Ethernet 1 slash 2 click on that and go to the advanced and here select the management profile and here click on the ping response pages click OK after that, we're going to create virtual routers. Click on the add. And here in the interface, we're going to add two interfaces, Ethernet 1 slash 1 and Ethernet 1 slash 2. And in the name, we are going to write LAN to WAN. Now go to the static route. Click on the add. In the name section, write down uh, we can give any name okay I'm gonna give default route and in the destination we're gonna write 0, .0, .0, .0, zero and in the interface I'm gonna uh, select Ethernet 1 slash 1 and in the next row I'm gonna write the IP 192.168.80.2 now click on the OK now here also click on the OK. Now after this, what we are going to do, we'll go and we'll create the policies. Click on the policies. We'll select NAT. And here we're going to click on the add. And in the name section, we're going to write LAN to WAN. Now click on the original packet. Here in the source, click on the add. Select LAN and in the destination zone, click on the WAN and we don't have to do anything here now okay we will have uh, we will click on the ethernet 1 slash 1 and services will uh, it will be remain as any now go to the translation type and here in select dynamic ip port now in the address type click on the interface address and in the interface select ethernet 1 slash 1 and in the ip address it is mentioned 80.50 we're going to select it Click on the OK. Now we're going to create a security. Here click on the add. And in the name, I'm going to write internet access. Now click on the source. 
and in the source we are gonna add land and in the destination we are gonna add van and in the service URL category we are gonna select here any and in the actions click on this checkbox which is log at session start okay after this click on the commit here also click on the commit it will take some time now what we are going to do we will open our pc window 1 okay so first thing we will open cmd and we will try to ping our gateway so here click ping and we are going to write ip 192.168.80.2 as we can see here we can we are able to ping our default gateway now we are what we are going to do we will ping our 8.8.8 .8. so here we can see we can able to ping our google ip uh, google ip address also so that's it for today guys bye bye